Hey, Colin Lay with Lay Roots. I am here to talk to you about naming guardians for minor children from single parents. Uh, so a question I get quite often is from uh, somebody in this scenario where um, they had children uh, with a co-parent and then for whatever reason uh, that relationship ended. So both parents are still around, uh, they just are no longer in that relationship together. And the parent is wondering, what is gonna to happen to my minor children if something happens to me? Um, and the answer generally is that if parent one dies, while there are still minor children, uh, parent two has the guardianship rights uh, to their kids, unless they've lost them, unless they've lost parenting rights for whatever reason. Uh, but generally, that Second parent is going to have the right to look after their kids, and it doesn't matter if you have named guardians uh, for them, uh, they still have that right. Um, so should you bother doing anything um, if that's the case? And I think you should. Um, guardian nominations can be pretty straightforward to do. Uh, we do them in a lot of uh, workshops for parents um, and, you know, I find one of the issues uh, when there's a, a single parent asking about this is they're concerned about the scenario where uh, something happens to parent one, parent one dies, and then parent two takes over as full-time guardian, and then something happens to parent two. And their worry is that if parent two dies a little bit later down the road with minor children still, then they are going to pick uh, the person who is looking after those kids. And parent one is usually concerned about who parent two will pick. Uh, so maybe this is an old sister-in-law, mother-in-law, something like that. I don't know. But um, what could you do in that scenario if that's something you're worried about? Um, while you are still alive and healthy, you could write a confidential letter of exclusion. Um, so this would basically be a letter, sealed letter that says, hey, if something happens to me and parent too, I don't want this person or that person raising my children for reasons A, B, and C. Uh, so that's something you could do because that could give you a voice to um, whatever judge is doing the, uh, the judge thing, the court thing of appointing the guardian for your minor children. Um, so that's something, name guardians, uh, confidential letter of exclusion lets you mm, bad mouth, trash talk, whatever, uh, state your case for why you wouldn't want a certain person from this other side of the family or whoever it may be raising your kids. Um, yeah, so that's all I got for you today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and thanks for watching. Take care.